This is Tom with Crosstalk for Thursday, September 14th. Reading from Matthew 6, 24. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. What does that mean? It talks about serving God or money. How can you serve money? I have seen friends do all they can to make more money while leaving others in the dust, so to speak. We probably all have one or more of those friends that would step over people and friends and poor folks for the almighty dollar. You might be thinking of someone right now. The folks that forget about their roots, probably nurtured in God's church as they were growing up, but set out on their own to make it big or to have what they didn't have while growing up. Now, I know that in itself is not a bad thing, but if it is not used to help to take care of God's people, they may be leaving some of their past behind, <clears throat> or what they learned in the past they left behind. My wife and I have friends, and we were out to supper at a very nice restaurant, and the meal was a little more pricey than I was used to, but one of our friends was used to going to this place. The food and service were excellent. And when the bill came, this friend, a very wealthy person, left a dollar tip for about a $75 meal. I was amazed, and several of us said so. He said that if the restaurant waitress wanted to make more money, she should work more and longer hours. Needless to say, we explained how that they were actually paid and urged him to do better. This friend was a person who went to church but neglected to consider helping those who were less fortunate. He grew up in a tough life and thought everyone else had to work as hard as he did. He would step over a poor person. Do you remember not to do that? Since all we have and do is a gift from God, we try to remember to help others and we hope that we can all be more generous. Jesus said in Matthew 19:21. If you want to be perfect, go and sell all your possessions and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. If we follow Christ and try to be more like him, we don't have to sell everything and give it away. But we must not forget to help those who are less unfortunate than we are. We pray, Lord, as we go about our day-to-day -day lives, let us keep you in mind and feel good about helping those in need or who are less fortunate than we are. Amen.